here's an idea. During this time of crisis, when you're trying to figure out something to do as a family and entertain your kids, let's talk backyard camping. So there's many ways to personalize backyard camping to make it fun and still be efficient. Still find ways to keep it within your budget and the kids will have a great time gathering their items from their room to personalize their outdoor space. Perfect time to do family intimate inside the tent. So we have a little lantern up here so that way we're not scared when it gets dark. But it is kind of fun sometimes to turn that off. You can do scary stories if you want. You can keep it on. We can do Bible stories or we can do comics. So bring a selection of books with you whenever you are coming out with your family. It's also a great time for kids to personalize with their favorite animals. And if you even have party lights, you can do party lights or Christmas lights. Um, there's always some simple board games you can even bring outside and play in your tent or some card games. And the best simple thing that doesn't cost you a thing is tickle time. <laughs> so you can take these opportunities, do selfies if you want, um, make lasting memories, do cool filters on your phone, um, all kinds of simple ideas to have some just simple fun inside your tents. Make sure you bring your comfy pillows. Make sure you have your comfy soft blankies. Put extra padding down so that way you have really, really, really sweet dreams. So one of the fun things that we can do as a family is make dessert. This is a pie iron and they come in different sizes. You can get some that are the single ones, double ones. Tonight we're gonna use a single and just open them up. We're gonna take bread. We had bread in the freezer, pulled out just a little bit ago. It's now at room temperature. You'll wanna put either extra virgin olive oil, some people prefer butter, on either the pan itself or on the bread itself. You just want, you want it to prevent any sticking. You'll also want to make sure that your bread is gonna stick completely inside of the pan so that way there's no exterior that's going to get burnt. Joe, can I put it in? Yep, go ahead and put it in. And go ahead and use your little scoop here and take a scoop and put it on one side. If you have dried ingredients as well, if you're trying to make things yeah. go further, you can yeah. always put dried ingredients. That's fine. Then do it. Yep, yeah, put it right there. All right. Okay, you can That's fine. And you can use the back side of it and smush it around. There you go. You can use, this is just a pie filling that we had in the cupboard. And this one is a raspberry. There are so many different kinds of pie fillings. You can have homemade Second. jellies if you don't have a pie filling. Second. And you want to use something different. You can use jellies or jams if you have those instead. Make sure that you bring your can opener. All right, so we're gonna take this, put it over here. And get into it, put our iron back together. And then we're gonna lock it. And then you're gonna wanna put this in the fire for about three minutes. And you're just toasting the bread and getting the pie feeling warm is all you're doing. So the other things that we can do, even with the pie iron, you can make grilled cheese, throw some meat in there, and have actual uh, actual dinner. You can also take a Dutch oven and make casseroles. So if you have, um, here are the, you can hear the sizzle. We're gonna turn it over. Get the other side, nice and toasty. So with the with the Dutch oven, you can take this and make casseroles with them. A lot of kids like noodles and cheeses. Put some meat in there, great options here. For the, later on, you can always boil water. It's done. Perfect. You can always boil water. You can make coffee, make teas, make hot cocoa. Make it. We good? So take it back over and check it. It's toasted. Hear it? Oh, yeah. Now you want to be careful because this is going to be very warm. So make sure that stays out of the kids' hands. Now you just need to let it cool just a little bit and then dig in and enjoy that. So these are some easy, simple ways to have desserts, meals, um, 
and just get the kids involved because this is the best part. Let them cook, let them do it, guide them of course, but let them be creative. So some other activities that we can think about and do is games. We have yard games, like bags. Um, I've actually seen people take spray paint, spray the circles on the uh, grass, and then do like a twister game out of that. Um, simple things of like lawn darts. And if you want to enhance your wildlife aspect of your camping event, grab a Bluetooth speaker and play different sounds from the internet on different insects and wildlife and then have a guessing game and see who is right. So simple ideas. Um, some other ideas that you can have for activities. Um, we already discussed reading and doing those kinds of activities inside the tent. There's always storytelling. And honestly, if you look online, I just kind of did a glance of the day um, for some free family camping games and an entire list came up. So I would recommend even checking those out as well. So here we are by our campfire and it was a beautiful full moon that we were able to sit here and watch. So always remember to look up at the stars in the sky, check out the clouds, spend time together, keep the fire going. And eat pies. And eat pies. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching our video. I hope that we have presented some ideas for you to uh, you know, have fun with your kids outdoors, at, uh, at home outdoors that is. So I hope everyone stays safe and healthy in this time here, this uh, all this crisis that we're going through. And uh, tune in again and we'll have some other neat little things for you to check out. All right, take care.